2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Starting lineups just announced. We're just about set for basketball. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome to 2K Sports Annual Noche NBA presentation. We're excited to bring you this celebratory fusion of basketball and Latin culture. This is Brian Anderson at the table with basketball royalty, Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. Well, Kawhi Leonard didn't come into the league as a go-to scorer, but that's what he's become. He said it's just about taking advantage of the moment. Keep going to your spots, keep shooting, be aggressive for the team, and don't shy away, pretty much. That's what I take pride in, he said. Guys? He is elite. Thanks much for that, Allie. And as the end of the regular season draws closer, let's take a look at the latest power rankings. Taking a look at the 76ers, they're still the top team in this league, sitting at number one. I think for New York, they've had a much better than expected season. They're just continuing to chug along. It's evident that they're a team to be reckoned with. A look at the 76ers starting group. Harris and Embiid, the big men inside. Then it's Moody, then it's Maxi, and for the Knicks, we've got Kawhi Leonard, Jabari Parker is out there with Robert Williams. Then there's Emmanuel quickly. And we know the long season is a grind for players, Grant. What about the coaches? You know what? A long season is a grind for everyone. Not just for the coaches, but for the training staffs, for the basketball operations department. Everyone involved understands that it's a grind both physically and mentally. Now here's quickly. The ball's knocked loose. Here we go. The Sixers on the break. Here's Maxi. Soft touch off the glass. Woo! His energy is unmatched. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Leonard can't get it to go. Pass to Harris. Right wing. Here's Embiid. Over Williams. MB gets the bucket. More than likely, if there's a second chance bucket to be had, MB will get it. Makes him work even harder on the boards when he knows there's pay dirt at the end of it. Now here's Leonard. Coming in off 21 points in his last outing. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Here's Moody. Out to Harris. Pass to Embiid. Back to Harris. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer. The Knicks with the rebound. You know, last game, they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. On the road, they got old defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. And you know what, guys? It just seemed like they never really had the kind of energy necessary. They just weren't comfortable on the defensive end. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Leonard outside. Shot clock at five. Here's the floater. Over Harris. Putting up a goose egg. Bagel this period. At this point, you have to run the offense through somebody else. I mean, that's your only choice. Pass to Embiid. Here's Maxi. Fires the three. Perfect night so far. Two for two. Intelligent ball movement that time from MB. Getting it to a guy with a better shot. Now a timeout called by New York. A low maintenance star. I mean, Harris gives you the greatness without the ego. Really a coach's dream. All right, look who's coming onto the court. Come on and get loud for your next city dancer.
your next city dancer, make some noise. Now, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. And because of his versatility grip, Harris can play alongside anyone in any lineup. Well, I agree, B. I mean, big wing players who can shoot have never been more valuable. Harris can stretch you out, he can go back to the basket, and he can run the floor. So it's the Knicks now, looking for their first basket of the game. Here he goes. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first personal. Second team foul. At the line for the Knicks. At the line, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. It's both from the strike. The 76ers have gone three of five shooting so far. Pass to Moody. Can't get it to drop. Good work defensively by Leonard. The Knicks have gone 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. Here's Newman from behind the arc. And the Knicks miss again. I mean, just a tough start. Missing their first five shots. Oh, got that one up quick. Boy, this is something that Harris has really enhanced in this game over time. Hard work, paying dividends. To the inside, Newman. Perfect pass to set up the layup. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Harris. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Toronto. Here's Embiid. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Leonard outside. Here's Newman. Really had his troubles in that loss to Dallas. He just couldn't find his rhythm. To the wing, right side. Harris outside. On the take. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Here's the break. Oh, stolen by Harris. Here we go. The Sixers on the break. Offensive rebound. Here's the three. Not going to go that time. New York trailing. Parker passes to Williams. Leonard on the wing. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. They get it back. Second shot opportunity. And it's laid up and in by Williams. Good things come to those who hustle. He creates the second chance opportunity. Pass to Harris. And that one drops. Harris has got five points. There's no way you can minimize his concentration. Excellent focus in finding a way to score that time by Harris. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Moody. Here's Leonard. 
A proven scorer in this league, averaging just over 25 a game. And they've done a pretty good job working the ball inside, but haven't been able to convert at all. Yeah, you know, defense or not, good defense or not, those are shots you got to make. I mean, they're missing some easy ones. Now here's quickly. Coming off a 16-point game against the Mavericks in Dallas. And there it is for him. Parker, even with the D up against him, Parker's good at keeping his focus. Doesn't lose sight of what he's trying to get done down there. Nice touch. And uh, that touch really is something you can't teach. Here's Maxi. Five points in the game. Moody from outside. And they'll get another chance. Here's Maxi. Six to shoot. Here's Embiid. Back to Maxi. Launches a three. Philadelphia, the rebound. And the Knicks shooting has not been great early. Just 27%. It's stolen. Pass to Moody. Oh, they get a hand on it. Stolen by Parker. Fast break. Here we go. Leonard for three. Gets the three ball to go. That may not be his first choice, but Kawhi's not going to pass it up if it's there for him. Good decision to take the quick jumper off the catch. Here's Moody. Oh, solid D from Leonard. Parker outside. Harris. Parker, no good. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Here's Maxi, coming off a 22-point game against Toronto. And his free throw numbers tell you a lot about his performance. He was very aggressive. Parker, how about the quickness from Parker on the break? I mean, there's only so much you can do when he's sprinting the court like that. And Philadelphia calls time here. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. 76 substitution. Philadelphia's gone only two of six from the three-point line in this first quarter. Here's Maxi. Oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. Outside quarter. Down low. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. All right, well, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Knicks. Guys, it's been great hustle defense throughout two quarters of play. Contesting everything and racking up the block shots as well. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnovers. Find the lane. Nice shot. And the free throw, no good. The Sixers trailing. And here's Thibel. Driving to the basket. There's the block. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. On defense, the Knicks. Come get it, come get it. Looking to end the drought. Now Porter. Looking at his numbers. Currently, he's averaging around nine points a game. Making the correct read right there. Otto Porter showing you his basketball IQ. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And he gets it to go. Boy, you've got to appreciate the passing there. Results in a great look. Outside Porter. Here's Wilson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. With some arc. And it's good on the layup. And the Knicks lead by three. The floater can be a tricky shot, but that's the right choice. Shoots from the line. That shot is off. 
And New York will come the other way. Their last encounter in Philadelphia, where they were able to handle the Sixers. Yeah, they destroyed this team on the glass in the last meeting. Clearly, that was the overriding factor. Double-digit advantage on the boards. They just pounded them inside. Philadelphia's gone only two of six from the three-point line in this first quarter. And it's Thibel missing. New York has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Quarter against Johnson. It's stolen by Johnson. Here they come with numbers in transition. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his first person. It's going to go on Emmanuel quickly. Shooting for Philadelphia, Keon Johnson. At the line, two shots. Throw drops for Johnson. And Johnson drops them both. The Knicks with the lead. Pass to Portis. Can't get a second shot to fall. Now one of two. The 76ers shooting around 32% to begin this game. Simmons banked it in off the glass. To me, it looks like Simmons is sometimes better at scoring through contact. Excellent concentration there. An elite facilitator, Simmons has great court vision. Outstanding court vision can make every type of pass. The offense seems to flow a whole lot better when he's out there. And foul. I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Here's Maxi, guarded by Quickly. And there is a whistle that goes on Otto Porter. That's his first, first, That's his first foul. Second team Simmons himself once said, if I don't need to shoot the ball, I won't. He gets his greatest joy, B.A., from setting other people up. And he can make a play for somebody else. That's when he's most satisfied. It's a rare quality. I think that should be celebrated and not over scrutinized like it is with Simmons. Here's Maxi. Five points in the game. Johnson with a bucket. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking that shot, but he makes them pay when they do. Pass to Portis. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Fourteen foul. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Philadelphia. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steals. You know what else, guys? Defensively, they've been able to call Shoot some two. turnovers tonight and turn them into points. He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. 127 left in the first quarter here. Pass to Simmons. And he's going for the lob. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Here's Wilson. That one drops for him. And the Knicks lead by one. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already. And we still haven't gotten out of the first half. And Simmons, here we go. And it's Simmons with the jam. Remarkable athleticism of Simmons right there. Driving to the cup. When he's doing that, you need to get out of his way. To the paint. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. 
Dibble, that's good. And now a 3-point 76ers lead. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Pass to Portis. Over Simmons. Portis' shot is off. Philadelphia has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Here's Maxi. And yes, it goes. He's got a little English on that one. Maxi's got seven. Scoring well this quarter, picking up steam as he goes. Pass to Wilson. One second left. And some nice defense there to end the quarter. And so the first quarter is in the books. Sixers ahead. They're up by five. And we'll return shortly. Joel Embiid. He's not satisfied with the way he's playing recently. I think I need to, you know, be more aggressive. Um, you know, just look to impose myself, just look to dominate. I guess I need to go back to having fun and just dominate. Then. Uh, I guess the process continues, Grant. And with big men, it's got to be a team effort. You got to feed him the rock, B.A. inside and help him get it going. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the Sixers, what do you guys think? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. You know, the defense, guys, is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. So on the floor for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. They've got Johnson. Ben Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel. Then there's Tyrese Maxey. Here's Wilson. And Grant, you were a big wing with skill. That type of player very much in demand in today's game. Well, I mean, today's NBA is all about versatility. Can you get it done offensively and defensively? Players with size and perimeter skills are very much invaluable to their team. And it's Maxi missing. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Porter against Simmons. Quickly from outside. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. The 76ers making a switch here. Embiid's checked in. The Sixers leading. Here's Simmons. Second chance effort. And finished off by Embiid inside. Embiid's got six. Well, you know, there's only so much you can do against Embiid, guys. I mean, he's such a terrifically skilled offensive player with great size. I mean, he plays pretty much through any kind of contact. Now here's Portis. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pocket six. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Philadelphia has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Johnson passes to Simmons. Back to Johnson. Puts up a three. The Knicks pull it in. Their next game is at Barclays Center in Brooklyn for a game of the Nets. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. So often we see guys fail to box out now, but he did a great job right there. Pass to Simmons. Now here's Embiid. And here's Johnson. He shoots. And he can't get that one. So New York will take it the other way now. 
Here's Wilson. The layup off target. The 76ers have gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Outside Johnson. New York foul. That's his first. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Coming onto the floor for the Sixers. On defense, the Knicks. They've only given up two points this quarter. Six on the shot clock. And after missing his first three shots, he drains it. One for four. And, you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen. To stop the drive. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. first personal. And everyone knows what an elite defender Kawhi Leonard is. I mean, he's a former defensive line, player of the year. And he can still Kawhi shape games Leonard. with his defense. And line, with Leonard, he's just shots. as sharp as ever with his stifling defense. Oh, his versatility is incredible. I mean, he can guard the toughest forward or guard each game. And he still has the energy to go out there and get numbers on the offensive end as well. Uh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. One of the most improved players ever. Kawhi came into the league as a defensive specialist, but Leonard has blossomed into a finals MVP on multiple teams. Just a franchise-level talent. And Leonard drops them both. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Pass to Embiid. Here's Moody. Harris outside. Three-pointer. Buries it from three. Harris has got his third basket on the night right there. No wasted motion with Harris. He's so smooth and polished as a score. Gets those catch-and-shoot jumpers off nicely. Now here's Williams. Leonard for three. They grab their own miss. Williams misses. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding, especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, Brian. Historically, a few franchises have gobbled up most of the NBA championships. A significant number of teams have never won a title, though. However, we're in an interesting time. A lot of those franchises are looking for their first title. They're among the top teams now. And guys, they're hoping to get on the board. Oh, yes. Very interesting, Allie. Thanks for that. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. To win the run. And it's Harris with the rebound. Philadelphia has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Parker against Simmons. Harris outside. With the 10-footer, the Knicks with the rebound. Here's Wilson, looking at his production, close to 12 points a game. And he jams it home with authority. The big-time throwdown. Check him out, keeps the grip on that rim after the finish. A little extra emphasis. Maybe that'll help them recapture their edge a little bit, guys. Now here's Embiid. He's got six. Absurd. Bounce ability displayed by Park. I mean, he uses it so well on defense. It's not just the leaping ability, but the timing as well. Here's Harris. It's rebounded by New York. Williams has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Newman. He's been contributing over 15 a game. Dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. 
Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one hand hole punch. Here's Embiid. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. You know, it's the muscle and size of Embiid that allow him to score through contact. You know, many people refer to Embiid as the best big in the league right now, and largely because there isn't a hole in his game. I mean, he does a lot of everything, and as big as he is, his agility and shooting touch is off the charts. Mark, you look at the evolution of Embiid's game. It really speaks to his intense work Sorry. ethic. I agree with you because he's had several injuries now, and yet he has not wasted that time rehabbing because he's developed his skills in the process. He said surgeries after surgery. At some point, I wanted to quit, but his heart was too big for that, and his game is showing the fruit of his work. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Here's Wilson. Six points for him. Pass to Williams. Now Parker. Hounded by Harris. Turn around Jay. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Harris has got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Simmons. And the foul on Ben Simmons. That's his first foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Now here's Leonard. He's got five. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. An incredibly strong player. Leonard able to convert through the contact. To his second personal. Second team foul. At the line for the Knicks. Kawhi Leonard. At the line. One shot. This is how you stay in the game. They're doing a beautiful job from the line. 100% this quarter. Pass to Harris. Shoots from the right block. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal. Robert Williams picks up one. Tell you what, fellas, I mean, an outstanding stretch for Harris has been awesome in adding pieces to his game over time. Specifically, that three-point shot. First free throw is good. Makes both free throws. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Leonard passes to Williams. Back to Leonard. Pass to Newman. Here's Wilson from downtown. He drops it from range. Nine points in the game. I mean, I guess they're willing to give him that shot. <laughs> they may want to rethink that strategy, though. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. Free throw is good. 
Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Maxi, he's checked in for the Sixers. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Newman. He has six. Pass to Leonard. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got six rebounds here tonight. Oh, love the intensity once they're hitting the boards. You guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, that's the effort they've team. displayed on the glass has been the difference. <laughs> nice job to go at the rack Sixers. and force the foul. Moses and from a defensive Moody. standpoint, a good foul to save the dunk shots. One falls. The Knicks making a switch here. Quickly's checked in. He does not get the second one. New York has gone one of three from three point land here in the second quarter. Pass to Leonard. Baseline jumper. He gets it in there. Leonard's got 10. If you want to study how to work the mid-range area, just watch Leonard. Precise in everything he does. And here's Embiid. Leonard defending. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his first person. Team is in the penalty. At the line for the Sixers, Joel Embiid. At the line, two shots. Falls for him. That's the third overall in 2014. Wow, it's been that long already. Joel Embiid didn't play his first NBA game for two years. Philadelphia was extra cautious with his foot injuries. Well, Joel has proven to be well worth the wait. <laughs> And Embiid drops them both. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Leonard against Embiid. Shot by Leonard, no good. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. And New York shooting 35% of the second so far. Here's Parker, and the layup is good after a nice lead pass. He's got six. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse. That's his second person. At the line for the Sixers, Tobias Harris. At the line, two shots. First one at the line is good. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And Harris drops them both. New York has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Pass to Newman. Back to Quickly. And that one is stuffed right through. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look. 
and that's exactly how you draw it up. And Philadelphia has possession. Following the bucket by the Knicks. Six to shoot to the middle. Pass to Maxi. And it's going to be a 24 second violation. They turn it over. New York ball. Portis, he's checked in for New York. Thibel, he's checked in for the Sixers. Here's Newman. He's got six. And it's blocked by Thibel. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. And that's why they're ahead. Here's Moody outside Thibel. Beginning of the first half, two minutes. Over to the wing. Philadelphia, the rebound. Pass to Maxi. Back to Thibel. Just five on the clock. Out to the right wing. Let's go with a three. No good. And New York the other way now. 133 left in the second period. Here's Newman. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. 13 foul. At the line for New York. At the line, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops it first. Johnson, he's checked in for the Sixers. Good on the second, so he makes them both. We've got 128 left in the first half. Here's Maxi. Seven points in the game. The Sixers with another miss. That's a look he couldn't pass up. He just couldn't get it to go. Inside. And a two-handed jam! sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Now here's Johnson. Five points in the game. And a foul no call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three-point opportunity. Full throttle, pedal to the metal, attacking basketball. I like that. First free throw is good. And Johnson drops them both. There's 53 seconds left in the second. Here's Newman. Give him eight points now. Outside for Porter. Drives to the hoop. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. And you know, even with that slender, slight frame, Porter has the strength to finish through contact. At the line for the Knicks, Otto Porter. At the line, one shot. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. The Sixers leading. 
Here's Maxi. He has seven. Outside Johnson. 20 seconds left to play in the first half. Five on the clock. Moody from outside. Drops in the three. Moses Moody. Moody's got four points this quarter. Outside Porter. Pass to Portis. Quickly from outside. And again, New York with the triple. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at it. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. It's been all about Tobias Harris for the 76ers. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And, Tom, what's it going to take down the stretch to win this ball game? I think just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over, play smart. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we hope you enjoyed the competitive first half of action. Ernie Johnson here welcoming you back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. That guy right there is Shaquille O'Neal, and that guy right there is Kenny the Jet Smith. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. At one point, they were ahead by eight points. They didn't stop fighting in the second quarter as they maintained most of their first quarter lead and now lead by three at the break. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? The differential is the free throw attempt. That's one of the big stories in this game tonight. They were being so aggressive and so smart that all they could do on the defensive end was foul. Check. what did you think about New York? Well, their poor rebounding is really it hasn't killed them on the scoreboard yet, but they need to pick it up. This is a game they can win. If they come out hustling in the second half, they can win. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. we've got second half action for you thus far a pretty evenly contested game when you look at Tobias Harris in this game he's been everywhere they've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense and that's how he likes it and you know what they've come at him a few different ways defensively and nothing has slowed him down Philadelphia shooting 40% from the field in this one. Jabari Parker is out there with Robert Williams. Then there's Emmanuel Quickly. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. That's Tom Thibodeau's five as we get going in the second half. Here's Maxie. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got six rebounds now in the game. To the inside. Here's Parker. And then Bede with the block. A fantastic defender. Embiid is consistent, not only blocking shots, but going after him as well, especially when he's in the area. Here's Maxi. Out to Harris. It's stolen. Here's Newman, pounded by Harris. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. That's a no debate there. He's got ample. Blatant contact. Straightforward At call. Simple. Yard. At the line, two shots. That free throw misses.
And the second free throw is good. Philadelphia with the ball. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And after this one, they're at home against Sacramento. And that's the first of just two home games for them. New York trailing. Quickly outside. Pass to Parker. This for the tie! Here's Williams. And he hits it to tie the game. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Here's Maxi. He has seven. Embiid with it. Guarded by quickly. Another shot. Embiid. Good. Embiid's got 13. There it is. The first basket of the half after missing their first three attempts. Into the third. Two minutes in now. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. I like when Kawhi forces the issue, making the defense compromise with the foul. At the line for New York, Kawhi Leonard. At the line, two shots. No good on that one. Good on the second one. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Here's Maxi. He has seven. Here's Harris. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Only 20% from the field to start this half. To me, it looks like their opponent may have made some nice adjustments. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. Yeah, just couldn't make the connection. But you appreciate their attempt at moving the ball. And how about the mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. The 76ers have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Pass to Harris. Here's Moody. Five to shoot. And he drives in. He's off on that one. Excellent D there from Parker. High arcing shot. Impede with a nice defensive effort. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter. But he's determined to stay after him. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Harris has got 17 points. Tell you what, seems like everything he's putting up is finding the net. And right now, Harris is simply balling out. A oh, nice shot by Newman. And you can make adjustments to the shot in midair and midstream and still knock it down. You know you're blown. Here's Maxi. He's been a big scorer for this offense, averaging around 20 points a game. Williams grabs the board. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Parker passes to Leonard. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. 13 points in the game. Philadelphia's gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Pass to Moody. Now here's Embiid. Williams defending. Fade away. Pulls it from 20. Moody misses. The Knicks have gone 3 of 7 here in this third quarter. Quickly outside. Parker right side. Pass to Newman. 
Knicks, another three. Phenomenal court vision by Parker. He really has all the tools to be a great player in this league. Here's Maxi. He has seven. Oh, the teardrop Maxie. falls in. Showing off with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. The Knicks have gone four of eight in the third. Leonard outside. Pass to Newman. Shoots over Maxi. Here's Parker. The rebound by Embiid. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, he just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. Here's Maxi. He's got nine. Let's it go. Nice spin off the Jamal left rim Embiid. and in. Embiid's got 15 points. And you know, the coaching staff wants Embiid to take these quick shots. Uh, it helps establish a rhythm for him. A nice shot by Newman. And, you know, we've seen a much different version of him in this half, guys. He's been sharper, more focused, and more assertive. Here's Maxi. There's the drive. Pass to Embiid. He's got it going on. Sure. Now seven for ten. The Knicks have gone five of eleven in this third quarter. Now a timeout called by New York. Tobias Harris really making a difference here. Well, you know, he's destroying them right now, guys. This defense has to make an adjustment to try and cool him off. Simmons defending. Leonard outside. Sinks the tray. Leonard's got six here in the quarter. And you know, the improvement we've seen over the years from Leonard has been incredible, especially his three-point shooting. Simmons, the pass to Embiid. The baseline, Jay is on the way. The Knicks have gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Here's Porter. That went off the back iron and out. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. Simmons with it. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. And it's good for two. Embiid's got 19. He'll proclaim it himself to you if you're within earshot. Embiid's mid-range shot is the key that opens everything up for him. Here's Wilson. He's got nine. Carries it down low. 11 points in the game. Woo. Just selling the defense on the pump fake. Outside Simmons. Leonard defending for three. The Knicks pull it in. To the middle. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got rebound number 11. Newman with a rebound. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's the one he'd like to have back. Blocked by Simmons. Active defense that time from Simmons. Swatting down the shot with some force. The Knicks making a switch here. Portis has checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Johnson, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Philadelphia has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Defended by Portis. Oh, great D that time from Portis. New York has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line on this one. Very pretty alley-oop. Now 
That's a textbook alley-oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. It actually almost makes it a little more special. Grace over power is That's how I would look at it. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. Hey, and the apple not falling far from the tree. Simmons' dad was a legendary player in Australia. And that's what Simmons says he really learned the value of team ball. At age 15, he played in a world championship there. Just invaluable to his early development. Now here's Porter. Looking at his numbers. Currently, he's averaging around nine points a game. Clock at two. Offensive rebound. Off target at the rim. Tipped away. And out of bounds. The Knicks will take it. Knicks ball. New York has gone two for two from deep here in the third. 76ers foul. Matisse Tiger. That's his first personal. 13. Philadelphia on D. Pass to Portis. And stolen by Simmons. Well, that was a superb read defensively. He jumped right into the passing lane the instant the ball left the passer's hand. To the paint. Oh, Simmons throws it down hard. And, you know, whenever Simmons gets a chance to show off his insane bounce, he takes advantage of it, really demonstrating how lethal he is in the air. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And this is exactly why he's out here. In order to block shots in tight games like this. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Pass to Simmons. For the lead. No good. A bit long that time. Nick's shooting a disappointing 38%. Remaining in the third. Two minutes. 156 left in the third quarter of the game. Misses from close range. Philadelphia's got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. Down low. Portis with the steal. Here's Wilson. Cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. Porter's got his fourth assist in this one. Willing passers. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. That's his first personal. First team foul. One twenty four left in the third quarter. Now here's Simmons. Give him eight points now. Hammers the lob through. You know, Ben Simmons can make spectacular passes, but he doesn't need to be flashy. He's all about helping his teammates get easy baskets. Here's Wilson. Pass to Portis. Over Simmons. Portis' shot is off. Philadelphia's gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. 44 seconds left in the third quarter. Can't hit from the elbow. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. Here's Newman. Offline with a three. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been That's something it. to watch. And the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Outside quarter. Three seconds left. Doesn't go for him. Joel Embiid. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Philadelphia. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break.
and a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. Three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. Johnson is out there with Tyrese Maxey. Then it's Ben Simmons. Then it's Matisse Thibel. Here's Portis. It's good. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Inside. Here's Simmons. That shot off. And New York the other way now. Leonard up top. Pass to Portis. Here's Wilson. Now here's Leonard. Clock at six. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Philadelphia's got six out of 15 three so far in this game. the basket he was fouled and he's going to the line for one more in a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the 76ers guys the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous very unselfish hey give them credit also for the number of layups they've had tonight after strong drives to the bucket Williams has checked in for New York. Parker comes in for Portis. Harris has checked in for the Sixers. Moody comes in for Johnson. New York trailing. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. And counted. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. Defense and despite the height two. disadvantage, oh, my. He just attacks that First interior. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think At he'd win that battle. Yard. I mean, that's a lot of height to At give up. line. One shot. Played just over a minute here in the fourth. Harris on the wing. They get it back. Got it. Good job in the low post. Harris has got 19 points. Yeah, you know, Harris is an active player. I mean, he's smooth and he's skilled, but he's also a guy that's got some grit and grind to him as well and gets in there and keeps possessions alive. Now here's Parker. Pass to Williams. Can't connect from short range. The 76ers have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now to the middle. Lays it up and banks it in. That's a good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. New York has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Leonard outside. Pass to Quickly. Here's Wilson. Back to Quickly. Leonard for three. The shot comes out. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end, and it's had a ripple effect on the team. Stolen by Parker. Here's Leonard. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Athletic play by Leonard in the paint. Not letting anything hold him back from his shot. The floater. And it's Simmons missing. For New York, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Leonard outside. Parker right side. Shot clock at six. Over Harris. And it's Harris with the rebound. 
Harris has got a seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Maxi. Leonard defending. Denied by Leonard. Dominant defense from Leonard, making a big effort to get his hand on the shot and swat it down. Passed it quickly. Now Parker. Shoots over Maxi. That shot's good by Parker. Parker. And this game is tied up now. Parker really adept in the post. Sees angles, reads defenses, does both of those very well inside. Harris down low. Leonard defending. Harris passes to Simmons. Puts it up from 12. The Knicks with the rebound. Parker's got eight rebounds in the game. Pass to quickly. drop. Good D by Harris. Philadelphia's got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. Here's Simmons. And slam dunk by Simmons. The slashability of Simmons. Really creating havoc for the defense with his aggressive cutting mentality. Harris against Leonard. And misses it off the right side of the rim. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Simmons, oh, 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 oh. Simmons taking off, launching himself right timeout, through the timeout. defense and rendering that D helpless. Now a timeout called by New York. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. And the 76ers making a change here. Embiid's checked in. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Tom Thibodeau coaching his team during that last break. He laid into the team about being over-aggressive. He said, quote, you're letting them get to the line as much as they want. We've got to dial back some of the physicality because it's getting us in trouble. Guys, let's see if they can ease up here. Thank you for that, Allie. Now here's Simmons. And Harris gets it to go on the assist, assist by Simmons. Ben Simmons. Simmons has got his third assist of the night. Here's Wilson. Simmons defending. And that one's good. Wilson. Just good awareness from Leonard there. Feeding a wide open guy instead of forcing his own shot. Outside Simmons. To the paint. Here's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Now here's quickly. Leonard for three. The rebound by Simmons. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And guys, you know them. Rebounding is a huge part. A huge component of winning games. It's not a glamorous stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. At the line for the Sixers, Tobias Harris. At the line, two shots. Shoot two. down the first one. And Harris drops them both. Here's Newman. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Pass to Leonard. Here's Williams. 
And that one's good. Oh, nice oh, job oh. on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Wow, he really fires up his team with his ability to extend possessions. Now here's Embiid. Harris outside. Embiid with it. Williams defending. To the inside. Moody, good. Moody. And the 76ers lead by eight. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. The 76ers have gotten eight of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. Pass to Maxi. Here's Moody. He can't get it to go. Ooh, solid D from Leonard. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. That shot's good by Parker. You can tell Leonard sees the whole floor, allowing him to set guys up well. To the right side. Embiid against quickly. Moody from outside. Knocks it down from distance. Moody. Moody's got five points in the quarter. He's taking what he can get here as a three in each half. Here's Newman. Williams' shot is good. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Here's Maxi, guarded by Quickly. Out to the right wing. Embiid against Williams. And Embiid gets a double team. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That's, his That's foul number two for him. 13 foul. And Philadelphia has possession. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Maxi. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Leonard passes to quickly. Here's Newman. And it's blocked by Embiid. And he recovers it. 76ers foul. Joel Embiid. That's his third personal. Second team foul. At the line for New York. At the line, two shots. And he makes a first. And so he's able to get one of two. Philadelphia's got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Here's Newman. Leonard outside. To the paint. Here's Parker. And it's blocked by Embiid. Harris against Leonard. Stolen by Parker. And here's Leonard. Driving in. And the dunk by Leonard. Leonard doesn't shy away from these moments. Embracing his role as a leader for his team. Here's the teardrop. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. They get it back. Let's a three fly. The Knicks with the rebound. Not a bad look for him on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be his night tonight. Here's quickly. And the layup falls. And 
and now just a 2.76ers lead. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. Parker against Harris. No good. And they can't put it into the drought. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Out of bounds. Oh, It'll be Philadelphia's ball. Brutal play at this point. It's frustrating because they battled so hard all night. Minute 32 left in the fourth. That one no good. Excellent D there from Parker. Leonard against him deep. Leonard outside. To tie it up. And the layup is up and in. Leonard's got 12 points in just the second half. Oh, man, what a bucket by Leonard. His team counts on him when the time is short because he can handle the pressure. Now here's Embiid. Yes! Tyrese Maxey. Talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. And the Knicks call time here. They're losing by two. There's 53 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Fans go out of section, get free t-shirts. Let's see who's the loudest. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, Joel B. And it's easy to see why they keep getting it to him. He keeps getting after it on the offensive end, putting in that work. He's been getting good looks and shooting the ball efficiently all night. There's 53 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Parker right side. Quickly outside. Pass to Leonard. Down to five on the shot clock. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. Tries it from 16. And it's quickly with a miss. And I think we'll see him milk the clock a bit. Yeah, seems like the hitting move right now. And here's Harris. Over to the left wing. And he buries it. They just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. Now a timeout called by New York. They're behind by four. There's 14 seconds left to play in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? And they're going to have to work fast coming out of the timeout. Yeah, they're going to draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass and not waste too much time at all. And they get it back. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. It's never easy from that distance. But we see them drill those and shoot around all the time. But that looks to me, guys, like a heat check. Maybe a step out of his range. The 76ers taking the W in a close one. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. All right, let's go courtside to Allie LaForce with our player of the game. Allie, it's all yours. Joel, in the past, you've certainly had your critics, and you have not run from them. What are you looking to prove out there? Oh, uh, just being dominant, so I want every time people hear my name, I want them to know that I'm a dominant player. Well, you do have the ability to dominate every single night. Good luck moving forward. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.